Hello, Windows Phone users. I'm Patrick Janiszewski from, <clears throat> pardon me, from win8appdev.com. First of all, I want to thank you for downloading the Financial Diary. And if you haven't downloaded it already, make sure you do download it from the Windows 8 phone store while it's still free. And I promise you, you don't want to miss out on this wonderful app. It took our dev team months to develop this application and to ensure that every feature is custom tailored to fit our users needs. Of course, this is the first release and we are counting on you, our users, to give us the feedback that we need to improve it. As we get into this tutorial, keep in mind that I am using the Windows Phone emulator to record this tutorial. So unfortunately, I won't be able to show you <clears throat> just how powerful this application really is. And I can promise you this, you will not find another personal finance application like this on Windows Phone or any other platform for that matter. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start the tutorial. So there's the financial diary icon that I just clicked on and what you're seeing here is the uh, login screen. This is also where you create a new account or retrieve a password if you forgot it. Actually you won't be retrieving a password, you will actually be um, answering your secret question that we're about to set and then the application will allow you to reset the, uh, will allow you to uh, reset the password that's correct so we're going to create a new account username short and simple password short and simple Retype it. Okay. So here's your selection of the secret questions. So you pick one of them and answer it. I'm going to pick the top one. What was the name of your childhood best friend? I'm just going to make a name up. Create account. Congratulations, your user, user created successfully. So we hit OK. Now, if you want the application to remember you, select Remember Me. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to log in every time you want to access the application. So, put your username in, password, and we should be good to go. Awesome. Okay. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, so let's go back one step. Right here, this um, this button here allows you to restore data. For example, if you're installing the Financial Di Diary app on a new phone or a different phone, and um, you're using the same account and do not have your and you want your data on there, then you would restore. But this only works if you have backed your data up to SkyDrive because you're essentially pulling the data back down from SkyDrive. So we're going to log in again. And I know uh, we checked Remember Me, but the reason that uh, it erased our username and password is because I backed out of it. Okay, so now we proceed, and this is where we set up all of our accounts. So we've got cash, bank accounts, debit, credit, prepaid cards, PayPal accounts, money bookers accounts, and other. So uh, you can set up as many instances of these as you want. So let's call this 
Pat. Oops. Uh. Pat Cash. One balance five hundred dollars. Add account. Confirm it. Bank account. Okay. We're going to do abbreviations today. BOA for Bank of America. And let's say $25,000. Add account. Okay, cool. So now we back out of it. And... Okay, so this screen right here shows you your balance in each account. You can also get to it from every other, every screen ahead, and I'll show you uh, where to access that. It'll be in your settings, and it'll always reflect your current balance. Okay. Oh, and uh, one more note on the previous screen if you would have if you were to click on one of those two accounts you could edit it right there and you can also do that from let's see okay so remember how I told you you could get back to that screen set up account so this is uh, where you'd go if you'd want to add more accounts and this is what happens if you want to edit so, we're not going to add any more. Uh, right here, you can change user data. It'll ask you for your password, for your current password, and then you can change your username and uh, change your password if you'd like. Uh, set up accounts we just went through. My categories. This is where you create custom categories for expense and income, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, live tile settings. <clears throat> if you want to enable the live tile, you can do so here. And you've got your choice between three different, uh, I guess, three different options. You can uh, have your tile display daily expense and income, monthly expense and income, or weekly notifications. So we'll save the changes. Click OK. Now... We will back out. Okay, so let me quickly run over these uh, items right here. So settings is where we just were. Backup is where you would back your stuff up to SkyDrive. My reports, you don't have any at this time, and unfortunately I won't be able to show you this. Uh, I'm an emulator, but what would happen is if you generated some reports, which are PDF reports of all your data, which we'll get to here in a second, they would all appear here as a PDF file that you can click on and open, or share, or do whatever you want to with. Then right here is notifications, and we you don't have any current appointments, so. This button that we just clicked on relates to this these notifications. And basically what this is, is if you want to set a reminder to pay a bill, like let's say credit card bill, and it's due on, let's say, October 25th, but you can change the date to whatever you want and we want it to occur either only once every week or on a monthly basis so if you want a reminder every month you would choose every month you can enable the alarm and you can set the alarm time right here so we'll save that and as you can see this now um, CC bill is what I typed in the comment section there 
or in the notes section and that's what shows up here so uh, basically that's it in a nutshell you can uh, change the month here if you want and let's see what else we've got the log this is where all your income and expenses will actually show up once you start recording transactions you can also change the month right here statistics your top categories transaction history expense and income categories will appear right here and uh, these are all like basically charts graphs you can't look we can't look at them right now because we haven't recorded any transactions and this is where the reports are so I'll just run through them with you real quick well you have to record at least 10 transactions to view them so I'll show you that in a second we won't actually be able to look at the re uh, reports which is sad but uh, I'll just show you what the reports consist of so I'm going to start creating and since we have to create quite a few of them I'm just gonna put random info in here choose your account Bank of America the date by default is always set to the current date but you can change it to whatever you want of course these three uh, icons here with the plus sign this is where you would scan a receipt and unfortunately we are using the emulator so we can't do that you can also place images here and you can retake or accept so we'll accept and here is um, where they would appear you can zoom in on them and the quality is just crisp and clear on these images I mean it's it's amazing so we'll save this and right now I'm going to pause the video and basically add enough transactions for us to go ahead and access the reports and the charts okay so I'm starting recording back up I'm gonna enter one more transaction and this is income let's say one thousand dollars bank account save record okay now we should be good and should be able to access the charts and graphs and everything but first okay so remember this log this is uh what was this page was blank a second ago and I told you once you start entering your transactions in here they'll show up green triangle is for income and it's for the amount uh, that was added red triangle can you guess what that means okay so uh, you can also click on these and the note I just kinda put a bunch of gibberish for uh, for the note but you see RX you see the date the time uh, the account it came out of which is my my cash account and the amount so now you can also edit this by hold if you hold it for about two seconds just put your finger on the icon for about two seconds you can either edit or delete if you edit it brings you to this screen again and you can make any changes you want to and then it'll ask you to confirm that you are satisfied with the changes so we say yes so okay now to the to the graphs and charts so here we go these are your top 10 expense categories on top and top 10 income categories on bottom you can click on it you'll get this uh, yearly empl uh, employment history for the year 2003 and that's because I clicked on employment 
right here. But whichever one you click on, that's the chart you'll get. And another cool feature is that you can zoom in on these. And I'm not going to do much with this now since it's on an emulator, but on a phone it's really awesome. So now let's get let's back out of this so I can show you the rest. I want to keep this tutorial short and sweet. Okay, so this is income and expenses, expense history for the year 2013. And basically, we don't have any data to plot here because I've only been entering income and expense expenses for the year 2013. But you get the idea, I guess. expense income categories. So here you get this and now for the report. And again, I'm using an emulator to record this video. So unfortunately, you will not see the reports, but they are PDF. They are so freaking sweet. You can uh edit your data, you can highlight, you can underline, you can cross through, or, or it's called strike through, I'm sorry, strike through text. Um, did I already say underline? Uh, you can also leave comments. I mean, a lot of cool stuff. And you can share, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Anyhow, so let's see what's uh, on these reports. So the summarized report is basically going to be a summarized report where you can, you're going to have to name them first of all. If you don't name it, it will give you an error message telling you to name it. Uh, generate report for this year, generate report for this month, and generate custom report. Now since we're in, in the emulator, most likely it'll crash if I try to open uh, the report in this because usually what happens is you, uh, you, you enter your information like report 1, then you, uh, oh by the way, so here you can choose the custom date, you click on generate report, and just like I said, it crashes. Okay. So hopefully, uh, all are okay. Uh, anyhow. So one quick thing before I go back and uh, we take a look at the rest of the report. This button right here. This is where all your reports would show up. And I, I told you about this earlier, but... I'm going to remind you, the PDF uh, format will actually, or the PDF little icon will appear right here with your report name. When you click on it, you actually open it in PDF. So be sure to uh, download the Adobe, I guess, I guess it's called Adobe PDF app for your phone. And this app will actually prompt you to do that if you don't already have it in Anyhow, so, oops, detailed report, you, uh, basically same deal here, you name it, you can either choose to do income and expenses or, or just one or the other, and then, uh, generate a report for this year, month, and generate a custom report just like we had in the last report. I'm not going to click generate report again because I don't want it to crash again. Okay, accounts tracking report. This one is the most powerful. It's fabulous. And uh, it pretty much shows you everything. So you choose whatever accounts you wanted to report on. So if I had, for instance, 10 accounts here, it would report on all of them. However, I only have two. You can do uh, withdrawals, deposits, uh, daily or monthly, 
and then you know the drill from here generate report for this year month or custom so uh that's basically it i think i've showed you just about everything i wish that i could uh show you what these reports look like they're sweet oh there is one thing that i oops i backed out of the app there is one thing that I forgot to mention, which will be in the log. And if I can remember which... Huh. No, that's not what I want to do. Okay, yeah. So, if you had a receipt, this is where it would show up. You'd click on it, and it enlarges <clears throat> and or basically you get you get a zoom you get to zoom in on it and again it is crisp and clear and just totally awesome I mean how perfect it comes out so I just wanted you guys to see that and basically that's that's the whole app and uh I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it uh, helps you to figure out how to use this app. And I really hope that you will enjoy this app. And for those of you who haven't downloaded it yet, please go download it. Because probably by tomorrow or the next day, the app will have a price on it. So don't miss out. You will regret it. This app is this app is awesome. I use it myself. And uh, if you ever want to see this tutorial video or find it easily, or watch other tutorial videos for any of our apps, you can find them at win8appdev.com. That's W I N A P P D e v dot com now the site is less than a week old i'm still uh it's still under construction so don't judge too harshly but i'm getting it i'm getting it there and the important stuff is there it's also got lots of resources resources for developers like uh developer uh tutorial videos for developers um, got some other pretty cool stuff there, so check it out, and don't forget to, uh, like us on all your social media sites, the links are on, on our website, and please give us, uh, give us a good rating on, uh, this application, because the team worked very hard on it, and by giving us a good rating, you're motivating us to work even harder. We are currently working on new updates and new features. So uh, we're also taking suggestions. We want your suggestions. If you have suggestions, guess what? Send suggestions. This will automatically open up an email form for you. All you have to do is uh, type up your suggestions and send them to us. Also, log out button right here if you want to log out of the app. Don't get it confused with the log out button to SkyDrive. You will only see the SkyDrive log out button if you back up data because uh, essentially what will happen is the app will um, redirect you to SkyDrive, make you log in, and then you will get to click on a button that says back up. And the same story, or the same goes for um, bringing your your data down. So I know I told you earlier that that was it, but this time I think this really is it. So thank you for watching my tutorial and.